Hey guys, it's Tanya with Thrifty Treasures and today I am bringing you my eBay sales update for the month of August. I had about 19 sales um, and let's see, I made a total of $670.22. Of course, that doesn't include uh, PayPal fees, eBay fees, and shipping and all those other fees taken out. Um, so that's not a ton of money. I mean, it's a good good amount of money, but uh, I make the majority of my money on Amazon. Um, but I'm working on being successful at both at the same time. So I'm really uh, working on getting my eBay sales up. I've been setting goals for this week. For this week, let me tell you what my goals are. Um, my goals are by next Sunday, uh, that would be, uh, let's see, September the 18th, I hope to have 50 new listings on eBay and three new videos on my YouTube channel. And what was the other one? Oh, two FBA shipments out the door. So um, that's a lot for me. So I'm really, uh, I'm, I'm hoping to accomplish that and, um, and maybe even more, who knows. Okay, so let's get started guys. First item, and share with me your goals. I wanna know, um, set some goals for yourself. Let me know what your goals are for this week and um, what you plan to do. Okay, so first item, I have this uh, Ralph Lauren Chaps Hawaiian shirt. I bought this for $5.99 at Goodwill, gosh, probably a year ago. I've had it forever. Um, had it up for a lot higher than this before, like $60, I think. I lowered it to $29.99, and somebody sent a best offer of $15, so I took that, and it shipped for free. Second item is... A uh, women's dogwood lane Christmas holiday dress and I believe I picked this up at a garage sale for a few dollars and I received a best offer for $22.99 uh, plus $6.25 shipping and I don't know where I went where did I go let me see if I can find me again hang on oh there I am <laughs> okay so let me move this back so you can see it and there I go again. I don't know how to set this up, you guys. Oh my goodness, I'm not going to move it again if I can get this figured out. So here is another Ralph Lauren item. It is a, an equestrian horse charm bracelet. I bought this at Goodwill for $9.99 and um, had it up for $74.99. And I received a best offer for $35. Um, so I took it and it shipped for free. Uh, next item is a lot of two Jane Fonda workout DVDs. They were brand new sealed. I believe I picked these up for $1.99 each and I sold them for $24.99 with free shipping. Next item is another DVD, uh, Ride Like a Pro 3 with Jerry Motorman Palladino. And um, this one I had up for $24.99. It sold for that much plus free shipping. And I believe I picked this up for $2.99. Next item is a coffee mug. I'm not sure how you say this. Uh, Wasterbach uh, Halloween coffee mug. I love this brand. Anytime I see this brand, I always pick it up. I believe I paid a uh, dollar for this. And it sold for $12.99 with um, $8.75 for shipping. Next item is a Brookstone Nap Gel Eye Mask. And honestly, I cannot remember how much I pay for this. I think I got it at a garage sale, probably for like 50 cents or a dollar. Um, it sold for $12.99 with $3.95 shipping. Here's the book, Diseases and Disorders, a nursing therapeutic manual book. It sold for $14.99 with free shipping, and I probably paid about a dollar for this book. This item is really cool. It's a 2014 Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo buyer rooster belt buckle. I paid, I believe, I think I paid $6 for this 
Um, I went to a garage sale with Margaret, um, the lady that she knows. I think her name's Jenny. She always has the, uh, I think she's a home organizer, and so she's always having garage sales. So I bought this there and listed it for $49.99, and it sold plus $349 shipping. The next item is a um, angel brooch, and my picture is awfully dark. Uh, my gosh, I didn't realize how bad that looked, but it sold. I probably paid, I think, 50 cents for this at a garage sale. It sold for uh, $10. I received a best offer for $10 with free shipping. So a um, little bit of profit there. Let's see if I can get to the next item. Here we go. It is a charm bracelet by Grazi Grazi Graziano, and I paid. Oh, let me move this. I paid. <clears throat> I believe I paid three ninety nine for this one at Goodwill. Uh, the bracelet had it up for twenty four ninety nine, and I received a best offer for fifteen dollars plus three ninety five shipping. Here is a um, vintage Oklahoma Sooners, uh, it's a college football Christmas ornament. I picked up a whole bunch of these at Goodwill for, they were like 99 cents each. And so I put them up for $16.99. It looks like I've already sold three of them. I still have two left. Um, and they are, what's the shipping on that? Oh, fast and free. So $16.99 plus free shipping. Here's a men's uh, guest wristwatch, and I picked this up at a garage sale for a dollar, and it was um, not working. I didn't know if it was going to work or not once the battery was um, the battery was replaced. So I just uh, made sure to say that in my title. It's not working. If you want to buy it, you know, for parts, and it sold for thirty four ninety five with three ninety five shipping. Here's the book. I paid a dollar for this book and it sold for $13.99 with free shipping. Next item is a Starbucks San Francisco uh, coffee tumbler from 2006. I paid $2 for this one and I received a best offer for $15. So I took it plus $6.25 shipping. These shoes I've had forever and a day. Oh my goodness. Um, I think I paid $5.99 for these at Goodwill. Had them up for $34.99 and they sold for $15. Got a best offer with uh, $5.99. Yeah, no wait. Did I charge shipping? Should I to the United States? Oh gosh, I, I guess I probably didn't. I used to do really good with shoes, you guys, um, a long time ago. I guess I just... I just don't pick them up a whole lot anymore, but I'm going to try and get back into that because there's really good profit to be made with shoes, for sure. Okay, these next, these last three items, I'm so excited. Um, I went to a, I went to an estate sale a couple weekends ago, and they had a whole bunch of these Texas State Capitol Christmas ornaments, 10 of them to be exact. And um, I think they had like, Gosh, I can't even remember now. I want to say $10 each or something like that. I asked the lady um, if I bought all of them and she'd give me a better deal. Long story short, I got them all for um, $40. So this one sold, the 1997 one sold for $99. That is so exciting. And I still have, let's see, I still have seven of them left. Okay, and then the... 1998 one, <clears throat> it sold for $49.99. And then the last one, let me show you. And I'm hoping to make a video on these. That's one of the things I want to do this week. Um, this one, this is the most expensive one. It sold for $129.99. So, and this, uh, this must have been the first, first edition, 1996 of the South Entrance. So let me show you what they look like. I don't think I showed you. But they're just, you know, little ornaments. It comes with a little pamphlet here. 
Um, and they all came with the box, so they're, they were all in mint condition. Let me show you the 1998 one. This one is the Lone Star Flag. Let me pull it up. It's really pretty. Isn't it gorgeous? And I think the lady was uh, where I bought them, she was like, well, you know they cost like $25, you know, in the store brand new. So they, they must be pretty collectible. And then let me show you the 1997 one up close. And that one is, what does it say, the state of Texas. So that one's pretty cool, too. Comes with a pamphlet. Okay, guys, so that is my sales, or were my sales for the month of August 2016. Um, again, let me know what your goals are for this week, what you guys want to get accomplished, and um, check with me on my Facebook page. I've been posting about goals and um, things that you know I want to accomplish this week and it's just fun to interact with everybody and to hear everybody's goals I really enjoy doing that so guys um, if you haven't subscribed to me please subscribe please like the video share the video um, and leave me a comment let me know what you guys are up to and we will see you in the next video thanks so much for watching guys bye bye